Hey guys, so today we're gonna go over some baby tips today about some more um, brushing, flossing, toothpaste, when to start everything, how much you should be using. So stay tuned and figure out how to care for your baby and toddler's teeth. Okay, so I know we've talked about toothbrushes and toothpaste before. Um, I just wanted to go over some stuff quickly just to refresh your memory. So we just want to make sure that you are wiping your baby's gums. Even if they don't have teeth yet, just go over with some uh, wet cloth or wet gauze after feedings. Um, you can even start with the rubber tips um, stimulator so they can start chewing on those for teething. Um, you don't want to be using fluorated toothpaste right away. Um, it'll hurt their stomach or they can get fluorosis, but we'll talk about that after. So. Uh, I just wanted to go over these tips with you again to keep into consideration. Okay, so I'm just gonna start you off with your little toothbrush here. Um, this one's by Colgate. It's probably zero to three years old. You can use it around. Um, very little. It's an extra soft uh, toothbrush. The bristles, you always wanna make sure, no matter what age, that it's extra soft. So these little toothbrushes are great, especially if your baby's teething. Um, if they are very small, you usually want to get the um, toothbrushes with a little bit of a handle so they can uh, grasp it a bit better because they haven't developed their hand dexterity too well at that age. Um, so you always want to make sure to get into the habit so they get know the familiarity of biting on the toothbrush and how it feels and so they get used to it later on in life and they won't give you such a hard time with it. All right, so a question I get asked a lot is when should I start brushing my baby's teeth? And the answer to that is right away. So as soon as your baby's teeth erupt, you can start brushing them because like adult teeth, they are affected by the plaque buildup. They can get cavities, they can get gum infections. So make sure you're keeping up with your baby's oral health. And the next question I get a lot is how much toothpaste should you be using on your kid's toothbrush, especially a baby. You don't want to put a lot on there because they can't really switch out and stuff like that. So the answer to that is I'll show you as best as I can on here. Um, you want a grain size amount on the toothbrush. You can see how little you actually put on. You don't need a lot of toothpaste. A little bit goes a long way. And this um, grain size can take you up to about, take you about to three years old. Then you're going to want to change to about a pea size amount. So again, very small still. Um, even for adults, we only need a pea size amount of toothpaste. You don't need the big glob that goes across. Okay, and let's talk what types of toothpaste should you be using. Um, there are some really good training toothpaste. You do not want fluoride um, for your kid to start. Uh, when you can start using fluoride around the age of four or five, but usually use your discretion. If you find that your kid isn't switching out properly or they're still eating the toothpaste, don't switch them to fluoride yet. When you're truly confident that they can get everything out properly and they're spitting out properly, then you should switch them. The reason why you don't want your child to have fluoride right away is it will get them sick if they ingest it. Um, it might make them nauseous, throw up, or you might even have to take them to the hospital if they do eat a lot of it because it is toxic, the fluoride. So that's why you want to make sure that they're able to spit out properly when you are giving them the fluoride. Another thing that can happen if they do swallow toothpaste um, with fluoride in it is something that's called fluorosis. And this can cause discoloration to their adult teeth, so either they'll get white spots or little dark brown spots. And those usually do not go away. They're embedded in the tooth, no matter how much you try to bleach it or what. So you want to make sure you're taking care of your child's teeth because remember, it will affect their permanent teeth if not. Lastly, again, with the flossing, um, you want to get in the kid's teeth as soon as you have two teeth touching. So usually you'll see it in the molars first. Um, Usually their teeth are spread out a little bit more in the front, there's a little bit more spacing. But if the teeth are touching and there's the contacts there, you want to make sure that you're going in it. You can even start them to get doing it eventually. That way they build a good habit at a young age 
because again, teeth can get cavities and they need to be treated because if you just sleep them and let them rot, they will affect the adult teeth and can cause disruptions when they are older. So it was nice chatting with you guys again. I hope this was helpful and will help your child's oral self-care improve. Remember, teeth do matter and you want them to have a healthy, bright smile forever.